Are going to go in now at top lane, it looks like. The Chilling Touch is there, the lift back, but Brax maybe giving out to get Timber Chain away. He's going to get to this tree. He does do so well, except for the right click follows him. Puppy gets your first blood to start things off well for the European side. Me meanwhile, in mid lane, Funny trying to get a kill on Sneaking here. Fog, though, helps out his buddy, and Funny going to be brought being effective enough with their roaming and rotations. Uh, if they didn't get the kill on Sneaking, then I would have said no, but since they did, I think it's been okay. Right, well, uh, they are the two lowest levels in the game, both level 3 to the level 4 Skyrath and well, level 5 Skyrath and Enigma now, but uh, they're getting lots of movement from Na'Vi. They go bottom, they're looking for the kill on Fog, they get it, but they may pay for this one. Kurok gets one, he's looking for a second, now Voss is in the trees, has a TP scroll, but the Midnight Pulse will spot him out. And Great ultimate by Korok. Two kills going the way of Na'Vi. Yeah, and in the middle lane, Snaking trying to run away from the... From the Brulings. Need another toss. They've got the vision here. And the immolation, the fire panda should be enough. One more last hit gets the kill there. Funix on the run. Now the TP coming in from Skyrath. Mace concussive shot and an ancient seal. This is going to be maybe enough damage. One more. Arc Dyer's bottom tower is Funic in is going to go down. Nice rotation from Fog. Harass Dendi at Dendi's T2 tower. We know that Radiance is coming and coming soon. They want us to do anything they can to slow it down. And... Well, we'll see the T2 tower now under CG. Funny gonna go in. That's a great ice blast. And Primal Split not gonna come out. Funny gets too greedy. He went for the clap as well as the split, and he gets punished for it by the silence coming out from the AA. Fogged on point. That was big. That was a that. big, big ancient seal. Oh, Puppy now in some trouble here as Brax looks to retaliate. Chakram gonna miss, and Puppy can hold his ground and turn it by. Looks like Queen of Pain actually went for a kill at top lane and got it. I heard the Sonic Wave Orchid, and that's a kill there. Havos, meanwhile, trying to battle it out with Fogged here. The Mystic Flare, not enough, and Havos will uh, help pick up a... Best heroes to deal with it. Yeah. And yes, the Orchid is going to be useful for quite some time, but once you get a Manta Slide or even a Heart, they don't really care about it. Oh, they're going for a Black Hole Solo Black Hole! Well, Havos is going to get a Ravage off. He may actually survive this one, but in comes the Timbersaur, and well, it's not really a... Here it's a four, and down goes Havos. In comes Funny with the Brewmaster Primal Split. He wants 1437. He actually leaves him to the shadow. You've got to go back and do some more damage to actually kill off this Enigma. And down. Actually gets the mech off. He's still alive. He gets some trees cut to him. The escape path is there, but it's not going to be enough. Not against the Primal Split. Meanwhile, Korra gets under Ravage also. They used the Ravage mid trying to kill off the Queen of Pain and failed to do so. It, it looked like this was going to go the distance to be a long game, but all of a sudden with Naga Siren dead, with Tide not having Ravage, this is possible. Rax is here. Funny gonna get silenced and blown to pieces here. He's got buyback, but not much Navi you can do. They buy back on the Brewmaster. Rubik steals Timber Chain, which is not a good spell to try and defend your high ground with. You'd much prefer to have something like Chakram here, but. Yes, they're just gonna keep shipping this tower down to 300, 200 HP. This tower's going down. One way or another, they may get to work on the Rax, at least the ranged Rax. It's a slightly easy to kill target. It's not gonna heal up either, and it looks like ranged Rax gonna go down here. And the tanky heroes up in front, two of them have BKB, one of them has 1700 HP with a plate mail, with a bloodstone. Brax, not really that scared, but Naga Siren has... He is TPing in. Well, here comes Naga, could look to set things up with a song, but there's no Ravage to follow. There's no Primal Split to follow, which being I'm available, gonna though. I don't think Na'Vi are going to have heroes off pushing on their own for too much longer. But here comes the mid lane push, and I don't think Na'Vi can defend this Rax. I think they're just going to let it go and defend the next lane of Raxes here. Snaking with an MKB up, he's just doing too much damage. They are going to try to defend it. They jump Snaking, can they bring him down? You, they can! The Black Hole's a bit too late to save the Shadow Fiend. Catches up the Primal Split Warriors as well. Korra gets in snare during his BKB. Sonic Wave goes out, the stolen Black Hole comes from Kuros! Gets Korra as well as 40,000, but the damage is not there! Down goes the Rubik, Korra still standing, one standing. Blink, right click, gets the kill! Korra now in trouble, he will pay for this with his life! Down goes the Queen of Fate. Funny comes out of the ultimate now as well, and without Dominating that ultimate, he does not have the protection he needs. Melee Rex still exposed. Dendi's fought back. They want the Rex. They'll pay for it with their right, life, perhaps. And 1437 support. secures the Melee Rex, but he does go down in return. A really the big worry here. You can't just bl jump on him and use a Ravage just to kill the, the Shadow Fiend anymore, and he's got this Aegis. He'll have the BKB when he respawns, and that means the first time you kill him is going to be without the Ravage. Unless you're getting a Ravage onto multiple heroes and going to win a fight off of that. There comes your pipe, Snaking just going to focus down the range wreck. So hard to engage, you can't use that Insta Ravage KO here. Kuro going to go in, what's he stolen? It's just a Midnight Pulse, but this is a nice spot to have to defend, he's going to just lay it down. There goes your Midnight Pulse, Sonic Wave comes out, Kuro silence up, he goes down, as does a boss, they've got no Tide, no Rubik for this fight, and Kuro... BKB now wearing off, he's going to be a bit careful, but they killed the Brewmaster Primal Split, and now Na'Vi out of options, they GG out. USA have done it. The Na'Vi American squad take out their European counterpart, and it's GG at 40 minutes in. Shadow Fiend, first appearance, played very well and drafted into a very fitting yeah. lineup, and I think the MVP, although Korok died a lot, he killed Dendi so many times, and just...
he may not be like reconsidered. They really couldn't do anything about him. They they wanted to stop him from farming Orchid, and then once he got his Orchid, he just constantly killed Nagasar and 